Nigeria, Pakistan, India, Chad and South Sudan. Save the Children International SCR yesterday confirmed that the most populous black nation accounted for 2.5 million with 1.25 million being children. SCI's global director, child poverty, climate and urban, Yolanda Wright said thousands of people were killed and millions displaced in the five nations. The federal government has inaugurated a presidential committee for the development of a comprehensive plan of action to prevent the tragedy in Nigeria. They are not breathing fresh air, my people. Make one day see them. Say, Porta Court resident, they know they breathe fresh air. So when you wake up in the morning, you cough, you will call black suit. The car. If you see the way the cars, they go black everywhere. Cutting everywhere. So every day now, they bump pass. Every day, I fall too easy. Black suit that we experience in Port Harcourt in the last seven to eight years now, it's been constant 24 hours of the day, every day for at least six to seven years currently. And it means that every day, residents of Port Harcourt are, have no option but to be inhaling this black suit on a daily basis. Newborns, children under five, adults, men, women, elderly, everybody is made a smoker because of the exposure to the black suit. The carbon is one of the chief constituents of the suit. The size is so small, it's less than 2.5 micrometers. That simply means you cannot see it with the naked eye except with the aid of an electron microscope. In 2018, Fenimeka, a pediatrician, carried out a retrospective study where she found out that majority of children have come down with upper respiratory tract infections in Port Harcourt. There has been an increase in the prevalence of death defects amongst women that delivered in the University of Port Harcourt Teaching Hospital in the last five years. The majority of the male residents in Port Harcourt have structural abnormalities of their sperm cells. That is simply to put, they cannot impregnate their wives. So people in Port Harcourt by the day are becoming more infertile all right, because of the suit that we inhale every day. That is how bad the situation is in Port Harcourt. Unfortunately, not enough um, measures have been taken to reduce or stop the cause of the suit. Whenever the time for the stoppage of, the deadline for the stoppage of gas flaring by international oil company reaches, the federal government keeps on extending the deadline. For the federal government, it's just a way of making money. It's a revenue generation uh, um, strategy for the government rather than protecting the life and property of the citizens of this country, of which people of Niger Delta are integral part of. I thought it easy, and I thought it whiskey. I'm not with you, I'm 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 with you, I
almost three weeks or two weeks and since the beginning of this uh, flood over here go high we were passing this way we have avoided this area because and that road you can't even know where you're putting uh, tire so that is why you can see some rocks uh, you know some go go this side some go go this side so my own at the first day where the thing get worst and the thing draw me to this place i was here before this month yeah, and see now, this one don't fall on my own already. Even if I try, I cannot pull this motor lens, this one go out. There's a lot of suffering. And that day, where I came down, my hair where water reached me. Me and my conduct all. Oh, everybody in short, I see people dropping, going this way, inside the water, inside the water. Uh, the other day when I came to see this motor, I saw a boat, small boat. Eh? Carrying some people, whether for or All well, went inside the water. But they tried to rescue people. I don't know whether they saw all of them, but I think they said they don't see the boat. <laughs> it's not easy, man. My, fam my family, when I got to house, mostly the owner of the truck, it's not mine. Mostly the owner of the truck. It was very hot, very, very hot. Very hot to, like, say, you want to go and uh, lock me up, but as God may have it, it's not too lie. You see some trucks. It's not intentional, intentional uh, something. When I get home, my family, when I narrated the story to them, I 
can't, I can't hide it. It's not easy for me. It's not easy seeing my life like this at my age. See? So please, do your work. Best, the best thing you can do, let them find the owner of the truck. Actually, if you can help to remove the goose, go the truck out to remove and so that you will not damage this one more than this. I fall too easy and I bought the whiskey. When I'm with you, I'm with you. When I'm with you, I'm with you. I fall too easy and I bought the whiskey. When I'm with you, I'm with you. When I'm with you, I'm with you. You got. You see me the other day. I was inside the water. I was fishing. There is no fish. No money to buy fish. <laughs> no money to buy fish. Uh -huh. I was scared. That's why I sent my children away. I was scared. So I was alone. The rate of the water, the highness of the water, that's why I sent my children away. I was scared. Because we can go fin time inside this water and it go lost. Children, they die. So now I make I fear. I sent my children away. And we get to one point. My son now feel uncomfortable. Then I give him drugs during the night. I wake up. My boy was feel uncomfortable. He was turning around, turning and I went out because my sister-in-laws, they are there with me. So I went and called them. I said, wake up. The way my son is breathing, I'm no longer comfortable with him. So now they wake up. Everybody inside the house, they wake up and they start maybe doing one thing in order. And the sickness was not serious that moment that we would go and call doctors. It's not, it was not serious. And his body, if you look at him, it was very sound and okay. Before I know, I, I told them that this boy is looked like a person that convulsed, that inside his body is shaking. Before I know, it, 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 it did not even take more time. Before I know, my son gave up. Just like that, in my mom. And before he gave up, like to five, nowhere to bury my son. I was very, ah, I was very annoyed, nowhere to bury my son. I was crying. As I came to this camp with my son, now the flood is going. I, I want to go with empty handed. I know that what has passed has already passed. Nothing I can do to bring out, bring back the life of my son. So when I'm living here, I wish myself good luck. I know I have marriage. I'm a graduate too. And I, I pray to myself that after a year, God should provide job for me. At the same time, double children for me. Once upon a time, before, say, October 9th, there was a food bridge, a wooden food bridge, where people used to go about their daily activity and businesses. But precisely 9th of October, the bridge got collapsed, got washed away by the flood and the big grasses. Not just the, the wooden bridge, every other part is messed up. You know, it's matched up inside the offices, the bars, the guest house. Everywhere is gone down, so business has been uh, really difficult for us. But yes, we need to move on. They say when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. So we were left with no other means to go about you know, our activity and then people were stranded. So we have to create an alternative means for them to go about their activity by introducing the boats instead of those smaller wooden canoes because those ones are not safe. You know? So with this now, people are happy and they are still going about their activity, meaning that we are still in business, but not as it, as it used to be. Business has been bad a little bit uh, because it's not everybody that's comfortable using the boat. The people that normally give us those little tokens, they packed away because of, as a result of the flood. So in that way, it affects me very well. But I'm only happy that the few ones that remain, they are able to cope up with the situation of the flood. Really, we are not making water. It definitely will make money. <laughs> people they with the pray for the rain, but you know for when they fall for another man place and you know stop. It be like swimming pool for a mouse as he don't fly. Uh.
of the things we get for him house, many dollars. My friend, I I'm going to make up my family, 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 I'm going to make up my family,